it's not too late to get in on the Valentine's Day fun. We're just beginning February the 14th. This year, maybe roses or chocolates aren't gonna cut it. There's a whole new trend in Valentine's gifting that we're learning about today. We're gonna have some fun with a couple of guests. Two different locations, two different facilities with furry or, um, yeah, I guess furry friends primarily. Let me introduce you uh, to guests in Vancouver and El Paso, Texas. On the right, on, well, let's start on the on the left of your screen. Sarah Borrego, who is in El Paso, Texas, for us this morning, uh, the event coordinator at the El Paso Zoo. Good morning, Sarah. Hi. And good on, morning. Uh, good morning. And on the right of your screen is Dr. Martin Helena, who is at the Vancouver Aquarium, the head veterinarian there, and up super early to celebrate Valentine's Day. Hi, Dr. Helena. Hi, good morning. Well, happy Valentine's Day to you both. And Dr. Helena, you get to start. What are you doing oh in Vancouver at the aquarium for Valentine's Day? Well, what we've done is uh, we've taken our virtual gift shop and kind of added a few Valentine specific gifts that people can purchase for their loved ones. Okay. Um, that includes um, a uh, sea otter treat, a Valentine sea otter treat. Okay, explain um, that one. And, That's the one I'm really interested yeah. in. That's the good one? Okay. So essentially um, for I think it's around $22 or so, um, you can get a treat specifically for our uh, sea otters for today and that will be an icy, frosty, shrimpy treat that they actually really, really love and so that's just kind of fun. <laughs> We're looking at pictures of it. They do seem to love it. I love that. <laughs> Treats for the sea otters. But if you go online, there's so many other cool things you can, you can buy for Valentine's Day. I'm not there quite sure so the, the romanticism of uh, humpback whale mucus, but that's something else uh, we can find. Uh, what else can we buy? Yeah. You, <laughs> well, there's quite a few things. So, um, you know, definitely for our endangered frog uh, uh, program, we have a Head Start program for two species of frogs that are quite endangered here in BC. Um, we're looking at some reproductive uh, analysis kits for them. That's very topical for Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. um, and who doesn't love whale snot? And that's an important project <laughs> by our own Lance Barry Leonard. Who doesn't love that? Absolutely. Are you getting a lot of take up on that? People buying these? How, how's the response? We are certainly getting a, a lot of pickup. Um, people are having a lot of fun with it. I think, you know, in, in addition to trying to raise some money for us, it really is highlighting some of the really big conservation programs and research programs and rescue programs that we run. Um, so people are getting some awareness from that too. It's Fantastic. working out very, very well. Okay, so that is kind of the happy range of things on the spectrum. We turn to Sarah because things take, <laughs> oh, they take a dark tone in the El Paso Zoo. What are you doing, Sarah? So we are accepting your ex's names that we will be using um, to decorate our meerkat exhibit. And our meerkats this, today will be getting a cockroach treat for them and in honor of your ex, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. Okay, wait a second. People used to send black roses, I remember, to exes or people they didn't love anymore. You can actually pay to feed a cockroach do a meerkat in honor of an ex? Is, am I getting this correctly? Correct. We did stop accepting names on Sunday, but uh, the response was overwhelming, and that's what it is. They're, we're going to go ahead and give mere, uh, cockroaches to our meerkats, and then we just announced that we're also going to be doing some of our primates and some of our birds. Cockroaches all around. Why? Because you had such a good response, people wanting to get at their exes had... with this way? Correct. We wanted to spread the wealth, spread the love, and spread the love, spread the opposite of love. I think. But we're going to bring this up. On, is this how is this is how you're decorating the displays? If we bring this up, it, it, we have uh, hearts with names on little graphic. Yeah. So there's graphics of the cockroach with names as people have purchased 42, 43. I'm looking beyond 50. How many did you sell? Um, we're probably around 6,000 names. <laughs> Okay, nothing says love or I no longer love you than more than feeding your ex's name to a meerkat. That's fantastic. So, right. uh, Doctor uh, Doctor Hula, uh, you got to get in on the. You got to you know branch out for next year in Vancouver. You got to bring this side in. What do you think of what El Paso yeah. is doing? Uh, listen, no kidding. Those guys, El Paso, you guys nailed it this year. Um, you know, hats off to you guys. And uh, we're thinking maybe urchins for the for the otters next year, and that might be equivalent. I'm just a bit worried about how many cockroaches are called Martin, though, so we'll, uh, 
Well, I've got, that's funny you should say it because as I look at my graphic, 41, Martin P. So that's not for you. Oh. You're Martin H. Okay, so good. it's good. But Martin P <laughs> is number 41 on the old cockroach scale. What do you think of Ed? You're good. <laughs> You're good. All right, listen. <laughs> Uh, I love you like no other. That's what they're saying in Vancouver. And you're saying it slightly and differently in, in El Paso. Happy Valentine's Day to you both. Thank you very, very Thank much. You. Happy Valentine's Day. So much fun to have you there. Yes, Thank you.